Hello everyone, welcome to my live stream. Today is Friday, so it's Chibi Friday. I'm going to draw not just one, but two Chibis today. I'm still like fangirling over Deadlift Lolita, who I saw at Anime Oasis last weekend. And so if you watched my stream from yesterday, you know I did a little sketch of them, but I thought I would do some Chibi versions today for Chibi Friday. I've got this cool paper set to use this time because I want to do chibis of both of them. It's a two member idol unit. Um, so my normal size chibi paper that I use is only about half this big so this is going to be perfect to fit both of them on. So this paper set is, it comes with a tracing paper, a sketch paper, and a bristol paper so that you do your initial sketch, then you trace it on the here, and then you trace it again on the here, so that you get it clean on here and you don't have very much to erase when you're done inking. So I think I probably won't be able to do more than the inking today, so I'm planning on this being a two-part project. To get started, flip this paper around to the side. I like to pull them out of the book that these pages come in so that these are still attached and it makes it way easier to make sure this isn't going to slide around when you're trying to trace. So first I'm going to start with our two chibi heads which as always are just gigantic. And I'm using um, both their do a little quick peek at this. Both their album, actually it's a single, but it's what we bought at the convention and had them sign, and a picture that I got with them after their concert at Anime Oasis. I'm using those both as reference. Since they're chibis, they're actually going to be the same height, which in real life is totally not the case. <laughs> We're about the same height. And I'm just going to do a pretty straightforward poses for them. I'm going to use the poses from the picture that I got with them, which is like strongman poses or whatever, bodybuilder poses. If you can't see the sketch lines right now, it's because I'm using this 3H pencil that I love. It just doesn't make as much mess as harder as a softer leads do. Let's let's do the torso here. A lady beard. That's the male member of the group. And some little chewy hips. Chibi arm. Usually I don't give Chibi's hands, but since this is a really, you know, iconic the show your biceps thing, I'm gonna give him a little Chibi hand. And this other arm I can't really see because in the picture he's got it around me. I'm cosplaying junior high school all might in it. <laughs> So it's like perfect because I'm supposed to be like getting stronger or whatever. <laughs> oh, I love this picture. So I'm just going to have him doing a slightly different thing. It's pretty similar to what he's doing already in the picture for his back arm. And he's got his legs almost like ballerina legs. With a beautiful little pointed toe. Just really general shapes right now for the bodies. So now, Neika. Let's do her torso. Since chibis are so... Their bodies are so small. I exaggerate the 
hips on the female chibis just to show that there's a difference regardless of whether the person or character or whatever actually has that much definition and Mika is really flexing her legs really good get a little foot there she has my ideal body. I'm working hard to get a similar, like, super strong body. Did my body pump Friday body pump class this morning. I'm super sore from that and the last couple days before that classes I did. Getting her mm, chibi buff, chibi arm. <laughs> Reminds me of the when I drew that chibi all night actually a couple months ago. So I think I'll do the same thing. Again, she has her arm around me in this picture. So I'm just gonna do the same thing with her arm, just make it down here. <laughs> I think this looks great. Okay. <laughs> I haven't even hardly drawn anything. I'm just it's cause this idle unit is so great. It's just my ideal stuff. <laughs> Cute stuff with strong stuff. Let's see. I feel like I want to... Uh, I think that's good. I'm kind of questioning the distance her legs are apart, but She's got this big fluffy Lolita skirt on anyway, so it won't really make that big of a difference. Just bring this one in a little bit there. I put my markers away today so they won't hear them jiggling around in their case every time I erase. Okay, so make us face this looking straight at the camera. Lady Beard's face is kind of tilted up with a big smile. Like a big shouting smile. Yep, 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 that's good. For their outfits, the ones they're wearing in the picture that I have plus the one on the cover of their single. I'm just going to sort of make my own version based on those because the bodies are so small anyway the details don't really matter that much getting them precise. One jawline. Let's do this one. And there's one ear showing because this head is tilted. Yeah, sweet. That looks good. Okay, now. Now, what shall I do? Hmm. Okay, I think I'll do the hair now. 
next. Maybe I should do the facial features next and then build the hair around it. Hmm. This looks so good. Okay. <laughs> Like that. Do these little cute chibi blushies. Chibi blushies. Chibi blushies. Okay, now to build the hair. I always have a hard time getting these kind of bangs right. No, actually, let me do eyebrows first. far down I think ah, I gotta get on those little eraser shavings they always bug me I'm like a little eraser shaving right here ah I don't like it okay so nice and straight put straight across there we go because it really does help to have a reference in there so <laughs> her forehead. That's where I've always had problems is keeping it like this. I actually need to come down a little farther because they cover her eyebrows just a little bit.
Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, she has. Mm, I'm calling them sideburns. I don't know what to call this hair right here, but I love it. I love it when people have this. This hair in front of their ears. I think it's the cutest. Okay. There, and then she's got them in the two cute ponytails. Oh, let's see. One of her ponytails is going to have to be behind here. It's going to be in his face. <laughs> on each side so that they're relatively even. Now, maybe I should wait on this ponytail until I've got the rest of him drawn in, and then I'll draw it behind, since I'm not sure where all the lines will come out here. Let me see here. Yeah, I'll move on to his face. And I still gotta do more details on her body, you know, put on that outfit, and there needs to be some some sort of decoration. They have lots of different ways that they do their hair that I've seen. So I'll wait and see until I'm done. And then I'll choose how to do their hair decorations. Teeth a little bit bigger. Let me see what I think if I do that. No, I don't like it. I would like them back smaller.
fix the upper line of his mouth so that it's angled the same as his eyes. Treasure on it from scratch. Let me get this on the same some sort of angle, but maybe not because it's perspective. <laughs> I don't think I'm explaining myself well. I'll know it when I see it. Mouth do this do this mouth. Okay, I think that's better. It's going crazy. Stay under there. It's not your turn yet. Oh yeah, I like that one better. Good, good, good. angry for a chibi. Makes it look angry. I have to put those there. So it's gonna have to be like this. Sort of lines around the eyes makes them look too too detailed for Chibi for some reason. Seems to set 
is round. It has to go in an angle like this. So it's if it, the face is finally nuts. I think that's good. Zoom in on this picture. Zoom. Okay. So his hair's pulled back like this. About drawing a beard. I don't know if I've ever drawn a beard on a chibi before. Try to make it work. Alright, I think it's working. I think it's working. the jawline here, the line of the jawline, so I don't forget that this is supposed to be fluffy beard lines, not a straight across. Yes, that's good. Make this one go out a little bit further. Some papers to try and get away. And he's got these two little tendrils coming down. Little tiny tendrils of hair. He's got two ponytails as well. The way his head is angled, they should be... One should start here. I'm just going to do a little white guide circle right there. And should follow the line of the eye at the same angle. So this one will be...
And it's not kind of wavy here. Let's try and capture that. I was having a real hard time with it yesterday. Sticking out like that. Mm hmm. Looks good. Okay. This ponytail is kind of doesn't. Behind his ear, so I've got to make sure it looks like that. Oops, that's too large of an eraser, too small an eraser. pulled into this ponytail so they need to all go this direction. I don't know if it's from body pump class this morning or I'm just not sitting properly. It's just starting to bug me. because since his head is at an angle I think that's how I think that makes more sense that's how it should be make sure these are about the same length yeah, ended up shorter no longer in the middle too, except for the bangs. So I'm just going to have a little indication of that at the top of her head. Okay. 
Okay, so this thing is in here. This one is a little bit short. There. <laughs> I love this. This is looking great. I think I should finish his beard under his mouth, though. Let's see. It's just barely... Right up to his lip, and then there's just a little bit on each side. This. I like that needs to be even smaller. Do do do. other ponytail. It needs to actually come down farther because, again, the angle of his head. Actually, no, I'm thinking about it. Probably this one should be more angled, too. Just getting a general guideline here, so let's bring this down. Blast it. Feeling hungry. Feeling hungry because I had a very light snack. Because tonight I'm making a baked mac and cheese casserole. And I put it in my food log already. Put the recipe in. And the serving is massive. Massive calories. Right now I'm on a low kilocalorie diet so that I can try to drop some more fat percentage so that by the next time I cosplay All Might, I'll be even closer to the ideal body composition. And also just because I want to. I want my muscles to show more. I work real hard on my muscles and I don't show as much as I want because there's this nice big layer of fat on top of them. There. I think that's great. Okay. Now, let's see. I think this needs to be a little bit smaller right here. Wrist cracked or something. Okay, so I can raise this little guide circle. There's some other stuff to clean up a little bit here. Or shavings. Okay. Oh, there's the one. Get off of there. Now, time for their outfits, I think. Zoom back out on this picture. Or keep it middle zoomed. I think that's good. Then I can really see these skirts. And their shoes. 
and big frilly socks and shoelaces. Those chibi feet are so small, I can't really depict that. Hmm, let's see. Minus that a little bit more. Zoom out. Well, first I think I'll do ribbons, hair ribbons. And now I'm just using the reference images I have as sort of example of what their outfits generally look like. I'm just going to make my own version. I should do more with the ribbons. Seems kind of plain, but I don't want to get too crazy and then regret it. <laughs> Maybe I'll just double these up so it's like. That's good, that's cute. Looks like little flowers, flower petals. Okay. Trying to do the same thing here, but I. Since his head is at an angle, I think I'll draw a the ribbon that would be wrapped around first. Let's see, they're angled, they're kind of like this. I guess I don't have to think about it too hard. <laughs> ah, ah, but I want them to look, I want them to look like they really are wrapped around his little chibi hair. Okay, I'll start with the back ones first. Okay, okay, back ones, back ones are alright. Oh, how should I do this? <laughs> it's easy when you're just drawing behind something else and just like, ah, it works out somehow. I'm like trying to think, because this one's in front, how is it coming out of this little... Okay, here I go. I'm just gonna do it. Here I go. Alright, I don't know if that makes logistical sense, but as long as it looks good after I clean it up, that's all that matters. Hey, stressed out monk! 
good to see you or see your words there in the chat room <laughs> how have you been doing recently This works. This works. And this other ponytail was starting here. So I don't know if I'd really see these ribbons with how tall they are. At most, I think you'd see a little tiny triangle, and that's kind of. I'd rather just have it all hidden if it's not going to be bigger than a little tiny tip of a ribbon. Yeah, I'll just have the one side. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's good. For that part. Yay, I'm so happy. They're coming along really well. I think I'll just leave this for the ribbons. I, I keep thinking if I should make it more complex. Hmm. Seems like head decorations on the what's it called? On the single. They're like all, there's like ribbon and like little rosettes and uh, lace. So I'm wondering if I should go that far, especially since the clothes won't be that detailed because the bodies are just so small. Yeah, I just put some little simple lace looking lines around the outside. Oh yeah, I like it. Yay. Let's do this. Really simple suggestion of lace. Hmm. Okay, this side too. There, I think that's good. I think I'm done with the top part of the chippies. Now, let's see. Okay, I think I'm gonna draw their bodies a little more detailed first and then add the clothes. That way I will remember to, as much as I can with a chibi, Give them uh, big muscles. Oh yeah, these are freaking adorable. <laughs> oh, chibi muscles, so cute. Chibi muscles.
Nika's arm especially reminds me of All Might, the chibi All Might I drew. It's like pretty much exactly the same. Not just the same pose, but like the same like massive muscles. Yes, one day I will have big muscles like this. Keep working on it every week. Calf muscles are just, oh man, I've always been proud of my legs and then it's like, oh, I have so far to go. This one goes down, it goes back, so I'm going to duck. Awesome. Okay, now I can clean up these guidelines and that will make it easier to put the clothes. This will be cleaner. Okay, so I can get their feet out of the way right away since they both have skirts on, not pants. I'm just trying to get the slightest hint of the ruffly socks that I've got on. And let's see. Hmm. I guess I'll start with their skirts. So they fluff out real big, so. Relatively big. Bigger than their shirts. skirts are more roughly than this, but first I just want to get the general shape. I'm going to add a roughly. 
ruffly lines. I'm gonna fix this leg. I was trying to draw the muscles, but then I made the leg look like kind of broken. <laughs> Sharpen this a little bit. Ooh, hopefully, that's a little sharper. Not this cool sharpener that's too stage in order to get this super long pencil point. But I think I've made the graphite so long that the second part doesn't get it as well as it could. <sighs> we'll see though. Okay, ruffles time, ruffles, skirt ruffles. Yeah, that's good. This one is going to be a little bit different because it's being lifted up, lifted up by her leg. There won't be too many lines right here. This needs to stay up higher. Then we need a little bit more ruffles, a little like tool underskirt. What do you call that? Petticoat. Tool petticoat right here. They actually have multiple layers in the picture I'm looking at. But that's too much. That's too much to add <laughs> to a chibi. A super tiny body. Now.
much of a drawback. After all, it's too hard to fit it in. Just draw the line and the key the same and make it like there. We'll do that. Not sure if I should do like little belts here or the, the skirt like where oh my pencil got stuck in my eyeglass lanyard thing. <laughs> Maybe I should do a little bit more waistband as I'm trying to think. That's the word I'm trying to think of. these ruffly cuffs. Ruffly cuffs. So hard to... I don't know if that's even gonna come through when I ink it. I try. I will try. I think I should put a little more color here. The shirt just doesn't look, it doesn't look complete or something. If I add a little collar, maybe that will help it. And put a little lace, lace around the collar. Yeah, I think that helps. All right, heading over here. Something I love in Lady Beard's outfit on the single is this like chest cut out right here. You know, like some Dutch maid or something. <laughs> Taking bits and pieces from the two reference images I'm looking at. Constructing my own version of an outfit. Pucky sleeves. Mm, a little 
suggestion of lace on this as well. And let's do a waistband here too. Wrist ripples. Yes, I think that's good. change positions. My back is really hurting me today. Okay, so this is one of the best parts about this paper pad I'm using. Trace paper. So first I'm going to trace this and I'll use an ink pen. You can use pencil or ink or whatever, but I'm going to use ink this time. And it's too going to be too small. I guess it'll probably be fine. Oh, got a little kitty hair stuck in my finger now. Okay, I'm going to start in this corner.
sure what I'm looking at is what I think I'm looking at. Sometimes I lift up the tracing paper and look at the actual drawing behind. Yeah, it's really tough when it's a small to make sure I'm drawing what I think I'm drawing.
elbow's all red from leaning on the table so hard. I shouldn't do that. I need to stop that. Okay, I think I got everything over here except your ponytail, which I'm going to wait. Hello, fire of the soul, AJ. Hope I'm reading that correctly. This green text on like gray, kind of hard to read. <laughs> How are you doing? Let's see, I'm trying to draw stuff that's in front first. So I'm going to skip over here to his little forehead tendrils. Get those in there. I need to switch to a size 3 pen. This one seems to be losing ink or something. The lines are getting smaller and smaller. There we go. Size 0, 3. a bit bigger than I want, but at least it's not dying on me like the two was. Boom. Boom. There. Yeah, I'll keep the two around for the smaller details. just drying out from being unkept for so long because now that I let it sit for 30 seconds it's doing way better again just keep switching back and forth switch. Little oh, wrist, wrist ruffles. Need this more pen than that. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Damn it. It's all small here on the body. Let's just stick with this small one again for a little while. I don't know if this pen is just dying in general. So small, I can barely tell what I'm trying to do. Two more ribbons. Boop, boop. Puffy sleeve. Puffy, puffy sleeve. facial features. There. Oh, I can do her hair now. That's all inked. This has recovered a bit. I hope so. Because it's going to do these little tiny details. Her keeps knocking about. Okay, well, rough walls down here.
Uy. Okay, it looks like I got everything. Oh, oh there's a couple little lines here I need to No, I want to make her bangs come farther down on this side. Since this is just the tracing side, it's okay. Okay. Let that dry real quick. Leave it about, let it dry. Now the trick to using this tracing paper, I'm going to get a graphite pencil, softer lead than this H3, use this mechanical pencil, and I'm going to put graphite on the back wherever there are lines. Then I will use the graphite. I'll press down on the other side, and then the graphite will transfer onto the other paper. It's better to use a softer lead for this so that the graphite will transfer more easily. It's the exact reason why I don't like to use softer graphite when doing a sketch because then it, graphite gets everywhere and it makes a mess. But now I want it to go places, at least wherever I press down. sure not to miss any parts. If there's no graphite, there's no transfer. Just be faster to fill in his whole body <laughs> rather than try to fill in only the lines.
Okay. And this side. Whew. Trying to be careful because I don't want these to come disconnected from one another. My sketch paper and my tracing paper. Because it's really useful to keep them together so they don't slide around and you lose your place. heard that down the stomach growling. Trying to eat light until dinner. So I'm making a really rich baked mac and cheese. It's not even going to be as rich as the recipe calls for. It calls for whole milk. Three and a half cups of whole milk. I have a bunch of skim milk. I don't like I don't want to buy whole milk when I have all this skim milk. Cut out a whole bunch of calories by using skim, but still has all the cheese and butter and stuff in it. It's going to be so yummy. But I'm still trying to do a low calorie diet. I'm trying to stay under 1500 kilocalories for the next month. And then I'm going to switch to a high protein muscle building diet so that hopefully by the time my next fan convention comes around I'll look even more like a female all might would for my cosplays Having cosplays to base my fitness progress around is actually really helpful because it's an, it gives me a different source of encouragement aside from just I want to be fit and healthy for my life. Like that's such a big goal. Like my whole life, that is so huge. But saying, oh, I want to be in better shape than I was for my next time I cosplay in a few months. That's more, you can sort of grasp that more. So it's more useful for encouragement purposes and keeping, keeping one motivated. <laughs> stomach is like, please, please feed me. No stomach, wait. Gotta wait at least 20 minutes, then it's lunchtime. Alright, I'm gonna get the excess graphite off of here. Swiping it onto the floor. <laughs> I'd rather have it on the floor than on the desk, where I'll smear it around with my freaking hand. <laughs> okay. So next, Thinking about which side I want to use. I'm going to use this side. Oops. I actually put it in between here. In between the sketch and the traced image. And something that's great about this method too is that you can reposition the sketch to be more centered or whatever you want in the final sheet. Well, I think that's a little more centered. Maybe I'll pull it out a bit. Down a bit. Okay. 
But now, I'm gonna take probably this pencil again, my H3 pencil. Whew, switch up my position again. Yikes, my back, my back, seriously. Whew. It's actually been a while since I did three gym classes in a row, three days in a row. My back is probably like, what are you doing to me? <laughs> okay. So, actually, I think I'm going to get a colored pen. Yes. And that way I can tell where I drew already. So, hold on a second. Okay. Got just a regular old ballpoint pen. The whole point of this is it doesn't really matter whether you use a pen or whether you use a marking tool or you just use some sort of stylus. All you want to do is have the lines. You're putting pressure on the top so that the graphite comes down onto the page below. So using a pen is helpful because then you can tell why you've already marked. And you should put a little bit more pressure than you normally would. Just to make sure that graphite does transfer. The only, the downside, maybe not the only downside, but the big downside of this method of sketching and inking a drawing is that you have to redraw the same image. Let's see. First you sketch it, then you ink it, then you draw the graphite on the back, which is almost like drawing it, and then you have to draw it like this, and then you have to ink it one more time on the final page. <laughs> so like four or five times. So it's a little more work in that respect. But you're pretty much guaranteed to have a nice, clean, finished drawing with this method. And no graphite gets left behind, because even though you're pressing hard right here, the transferred graphite is still super easy to erase away on the page below. Right here's where it doesn't really matter as long as you remember which line you wanted. If you ink something twice because you wanted to change the lines a little bit, it's okay. Because all that gets transferred is what you push down on right here. You're so bad right now. <laughs> My back is screaming at me. Stop bending over like that. <laughs> I always have the worst posture when I'm drawing. I try to work on it, but you know, you get into it and you're not thinking about your posture anymore. You're thinking about your drawing. Thinking about your picture. Getting ready and got my finger. I gotta be careful. Don't want it to. Ah, crap. Looks like I did already get a little bit. Gotta be more careful about this red ink.
Ugh, I'm getting so hungry. I'm getting so hungry. In there, me. <laughs> I hope you guys can't hear me. Stomach growling. Just keeps going. Guar. This is Guar. I'm hungry. I was really happy when I realized this morning that Deadlift Lolita, who I am drawing right now, if you didn't know, uh, they, they retweeted my sketch from yesterday. I'm like, yay! That is, that's like the ideal thing because drawing fan art for people who I actually got to meet, even if it was only for like 30 seconds. Like, I was, if they, they're uh, liking it and retweeting it, lets me know that they saw it and that they know I'm their fan. I just kind of want them to know that I appreciate that they came out here to Boise, Idaho. Like, they're from Japan. <laughs> it's so awesome that they came out here. really pleased when I saw that they not only liked it but retweeted it or gave it a favorite I don't know what you call it on Twitter you give it like a star or something Really tired. <laughs> Trying my best to hang in there. Doesn't help that my stomach is really distracting. Ah, smear more red. Stop touching the red with your hand. It's like double edged sword, this red ink. It doesn't seem to be drying very fast, I think that's what the problem is. Okay, I at least want to finish this tracing a Mega. I think I might take a break after I get done tracing her. This is just getting really tough right now. <laughs> it shouldn't be tough, but it is. Okay, I did it. I got her traced. Carefully pick this up. There you see. Oh, I missed a line. But you can see how it transferred the graphite. And then I can ink that. Yeah, I'm gonna take a break. I'm just gonna leave this exactly like it is so that I don't uh, mess it up and move, end up moving this sheet so that it's not lined up anymore. I'll leave off here and 
come back to it next Friday and do part two for Chibi Friday next week. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching.